Hey guys, Tarko Cycle and FPV, and today I'm actually going to be working on a Tyrannus X9D Plus 2019 edition. I'm helping one of my customers get this up and running. He's got some questions about it. I got my goofy glasses on until my real ones are ready, so bear with me on that. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to get the um, table here set up. Uh, we are going to be, I do need to adjust again some of this, so bear with me a second. Let me see. I kind of knocked this camera around earlier today, and now I'm paying the price for it. All right, so uh, let me do another uh, picture in picture here. Oops. Darn it. There we go. Okay, so this is a brand new uh, Tyrannus uh, X9D Plus 2019 edition. I've got a uh, temporary battery sitting here that I just pulled from another box. Uh, this is going to be the Ash White um, edition. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to basically go through this. Oh, by the way, I also have a 32 gig uh, memory card here. And we're going to check to see what the limitations are of that and whether this radio can handle it. So let me just go ahead and open this up real quick. Let's see what we got. So the first thing is going to be the X90 Plus. We got this box. And by the way, uh, for those of you watching, this will still be a transmitter for sale. I've got a, a bunch of them in here, but I'm opening it to look at it. So I don't want to hear about how it's not new. Right? It's, it's going to be about as new as it can be, an open box. I get people say, well, once you open it to show people it's used. I'm like, no, nah, I don't buy that. So I'll tell you it's an open box. and may give you a small discount, but don't go cheapy on me. All right. Here's our radio as it is, right? Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started. We've got our module bay like normal. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up down here. Our memory card's gonna go down here. So we're gonna walk through that and I'm also gonna do the setup process with OpenTX and everything else, okay? I'm not gonna rush through this and not cover all that. Uh, we are gonna put a battery in here temporarily. I hope this one fits, but you know what? By the looks of it, it may not. Um, I don't know, we'll see. And it was this is just for temporary use only. Uh, oh, by the way, I do wanna say this. Um, this is, and I know that people who had the X9D Plus, the, not this version, and you know, earlier versions of this, uh, they some of them uh, say that they used uh, 3S batteries and hey, there was no problem. Well, you got lucky, okay? Because these do not support 3S batteries and the other ones, while they could run on a 3S, they would send too much voltage through the module bay and you could actually fry your stuff when you're updating, either updating through the pins on the back uh, or updating from your module bay, whatever it may be, you got lucky. It's not that it was supported, it's you got lucky. So please, I've got some customers, some real, real uh, wonderful, friendly people that like to tell me that uh, I don't know what I'm talking about about this. And I'm going to tell you flat out that um, if you want to hook up a 3S battery to this uh, X90 Plus 2019 and you buy it from me, you're going to blow your warranty. And don't call me and tell me that I have to take it back. I'm going to tell you you have to read. And the instructions tell you it's a 2S battery. It's on the website and uh, there's a warning right here in this label. So read. It's pretty simple. Uh, all right, I'm looking for something here, um, and let me see what it is. Uh, all right, we're gonna get the battery on here. Um, we gotta do some SD work, so there's my SD card reader. We've got the computer right in front of me. So let's go ahead and just kinda get started. And I've got my SD card, so let me go ahead and open this 32 gig one up uh, and see. I know the 64 gig did not work, so we're gonna kind of eliminate that altogether uh, from being an option. Let me get the scissors here. And I got this one at Best Buy. These were on sale. So if you get a good deal on them, by all means, get the Best Buy. They were running these for like 12 bucks or 10 bucks or something. I couldn't say no. All right. So there's our memory card, right? And now uh, I think before we do anything else on this, we're going to go ahead and start accessing the web and seeing what we need to have in order for this to work properly on the web. So now let me get you the computer screen. And there we go. All right. So while I set the memory card and everything aside, most important thing right now is going to be to find out what software we need. Now, our website, I'm updating it to have all this. So let's go ahead. I've got to make room for the mouse to work here. So let's go ahead and get on the web. And we will go to cyclonefpv.com. And we will go to our tutorial section. And we will go to tutorials right here. And I've created a new page. It's there. It's still getting updated, but it is for all free sky updates, downloads, and tutorials. And from here, you can find links to many of the things that we're going to be talking about today. And I will also have more links here after this video is done, including links to this video. So we're using the X9D Plus um, right here, the 2019. Uh, where am I at with that? Hold on. Do I even have that on here? Let me see. X9D Plus 2019. This is a special edition. This is the regular. So let's just go to the regular and click it. Okay, and that's going to take you to Free Sky. So from our website, the idea is that you don't have to be click. You don't have to click all over the place to get anywhere. Hopefully, you can get to all the locations you need from one central spot, which would be our site. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up the table here. All right. That being said, uh, I'm not interested in the manual. I'm interested in the firmware, and I want to see what they've got. Okay. So they've got the OpenTX 2.3. 
and they've also got the uh, ISRM. Now this is separate and this uh, firmware is gonna be uh, needed for the internal RF module only. Uh, so this one is not included in any updates that you do. So you need to download this one directly. So we're gonna go ahead and download this, okay? And um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to OpenTX to get this one and I'll show you why in just a minute, okay? So basically, basically all I care about right now is go to this page, download that firmware right there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our folder that contains this. Let me get my keyboard. Okay, and you guys know me, I like to stay everything very organized with this. So I'm going to make a, I'm gonna cut this because I don't want it to sit in my downloads folder. I'm gonna go to my transmitters folder Okay, and there's my X9D plus 2019 folder here, but we're gonna go ahead and make a new one and start over. So let me, uh, let me make sure, let me, let me paste this here first. Sorry, I just need to see what we've got here. Let me see what's in here. I do have the card contents, but I'm going to rename this to old uh, because I wanna do a whole new one for those of you that have not seen this. Uh, so let's do that, that's the old file. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to computer, make a new folder, and just label it X9DP-2019, okay? Now, uh, that file that we downloaded, which is this firmware update, just go ahead and put it in there. And from here, you can go ahead and extract it. All right, and there it is, okay? And this is what you'll be updating, this is what you'll be flashing, okay? So we'll go ahead and save that. Now, we need to go to OpenTX, and we need to download the, the um, stuff for our uh, our controller, right? So I have OpenTX loaded here, and I'm gonna, I cannot remember which one was the newest one, um, but I have both of them because I have some people ask me to run the older one. I'm gonna click this one and see if that's it. Uh, yeah, that is a new one. Okay, so that's OpenTX Companion 2.3, and if you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if you need to get there, um, I believe that uh, we have an OpenTX download uh, page as well. Uh, let me see if it is over here somewhere under our tutorials. Um, I don't know where I put it yet. But, oh, there. Oh, OpenTX. So if you go there, you'll be able to find the link to the website, the TX Companion downloads, SD card stuff. Now, some of these are going to be outdated because they uh, updated it again, but no problem. You just go ahead and do your uh, companion download here. So you can, again, go from our site to get anywhere you need to go. Uh, but let me get back now to my program here. Here it is, and it's gonna tell me there's a new version uh, available, so obviously I wanna download, so I'm gonna click yes. Okay, and this is gonna be Companion 2.3.2. So I'm just gonna put it in here. And the default, uh, let me see. Oh, of course I don't have permission. Um, let me put it under my downloads here, and then, I'll, yeah, that's perfect. I'll actually save it right there, okay? So we're gonna let it download, then we're gonna install it. Now, you don't have to delete the old version of OpenTX, so if I have people that are running an older version, like 2.0, I keep it because I need to show them how it works. I don't know why they won't update it, but for whatever reason they don't wanna update it, I work with them on it. Okay, so it wants me to know, if it wants to know if I wanna launch the installer, I'm gonna click yes. Click yes again, and click agree, and just keep going, and keep going. I keep everything at the default location, so if you do that, then just click next all the way through. Time for a sip of coffee here. All right. Okay, now with that, we click next. And then we're gonna tell it we wanna run it, so click finish. Okay. And here we go. All right, now, uh, what is this, OpenTX? No, no, I'm gonna cancel this right now because this is kinda jumping the gun from what I want y'all to see. Uh, I don't wanna ignore the version. What I wanna do is I wanna go to settings and you're gonna need to do this, right? So go to radio profiles. And then what you wanna do is, I already have X9D plus that right here, but we're gonna make a new one. So we're gonna say, add a radio profile, and we're gonna call this um, X9D, oops, X9D uh, plus 2019 dash, uh, X9D plus, sorry, uh, 2019 space uh, 1119. One nine. Okay, and that'll be for today. So then we're gonna drop down our menu and we wanna find our model, which is X90 plus 2019. And we're gonna select from here. So look, before we get into explaining all this, cause I've already done this before, but I, I'm gonna tell you what you just, the easiest things to pick right now. 
Uh, we we'll, we can go the Flex Nine uh, Flex uh, R Nine M if you want. If you're going to run a Flex protocol, they now have got this built into the updates here. We are doing no heli. Um, we are going to do. Uh, we can do our Lua scripts. Uh, the rest of the stuff is not really um, that important. I've done all of these and got a video on all of them, and they just really aren't anything that you're going to need to set this up. Okay, so let's just stick with that. Um, as far as the splashing goes, we're going to leave everything the same. SD card structure path. Here's where you're going to need to do this. You need to click select folder. And then you need to go to your new, um, mine isn't downloads and mine's under transmitters. You need to go to your new X9DP uh, 2019 right here and make a folder and call it uh, card contents. Okay, that's your new folder there. And just click select folder and now you're gonna see it populate here. Then you need to make a backup folder and we're gonna go to transmitters and x 9 d 2019 and we're going to make a folder here and we're going to call it backup and we're going to make sure that's select and we click select folder okay and we're going to uh, enable the enable automatic we'll put a check box check mark beside enable automatic backup and we are going to say we are on mode two and my settings are taer so that's what i'm putting okay uh, we will append the uh, f uh, version to the firmware uh, file name and then we will offer to write it after we download it so I would select that too and now let's go to application settings so um, right here we're going to do releases that are stable okay and uh, that's fine we're going to empty the model slots I don't mind doing that either uh, enable automatic backup which is fine and in this case I'm going to go ahead and select again my backup folder I created so I'm going to go to my documents sorry downloads transmitters x9dp2019 and i'm going to click the backup folder there as well and click select folder and the splash screens nothing else here really matters and that's it so we're going to click ok so now you can see the top here x9d x9d plus 2019 is our new profile you have got to have your profile if you go to radio profiles you'll see it's selected so click that right now the system knows that you're running an x9d plus 2019 so if you ask it for firmware updates if you ask for sd card contents it knows to access that right so here's what we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to this download uh, arrow right here and we're going to click it and we're going to have it check for updates okay and it's going to say that uh, OpenTX, all these options is has not been downloaded for version 2.3.2 do you want to download it now you click yes so click yes it's going to ask you where you want to state save it okay so where I tell, the way I do mine is I go to my downloads folder. So here's my transmitters, here's my X9D 2019. And then under my card contents, I'm gonna make a folder, okay? And it's going to be called, well, this is kind of screwed up, but um, ah, for right now I'm gonna do it. So firmware, uh, let's, do, let's do this. Let's make a folder called OpenTX uh, FW, that's OpenTX firmware, okay? Just go with me on this for now because I usually download the card contents first and then make this folder, but I wanna do it this way. So we're gonna put that in here and this file name is really long, okay? So let's just do OpenTX, let's just do it like this. Um, well, let's see, I'm gonna do it like here. I'm gonna make this OpenTX 2.3.2, okay? And I'm gonna click save. All right, so that's going to download. And I just want the file to be small because it's also, I do not want it to write to the radio right now. Now I want to download, uh, let me see what we've got here. So we've got our firmware um, and we're good here. So we don't need to worry about that. But what I do want to do is I want to download, let me see what they've got here for me. Uh, that's what we just, it's good for that. I want to download the SD card contents, okay? And so I'm going to be taken to this link here and I am going to go to the newest one, which is October 4th, 2019. And I'm going to click it. And it's going to save, and then I'm going to automatically go in there. And I've done this before for you guys. It's showing you exactly what we want to do to make this go fast, what files we don't need, and that we can eliminate. Now, this is a 113 meg file. I think, actually, once you extract, it's like 135. But you really only need about 16 megs of this thing. So we're going to delete a bunch of the other stuff, which is basically language packs that you're not going to be using. All right? But I've got to wait for it to download. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to take my uh, memory card here. And I want to format it. Now I'm going to put it in the computer so I can format it. So let me knock that out real quick. Uh, and I've got an extension cable here, a USB extension cable. So let me do that. Uh, all right. So let me plug this in. OK. 
Okay, and now I'm just going to basically, here's my reader, and it's just on a USB extension cable. I'm going to put my SD card in here. I want to format it. Whoops. There we go. Okay. So you should see something pop up on the screen here shortly. All right, now I'm going to format it. So I'm going to right click and go to format. And I'm going to do a FAT32 format and just a quick erase and click start. And I'm going to click OK. And it's done. OK, so now the disk is formatted. Leave that there and let's see how our downloads look. So our download's done, so let's go to show in folder. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the other one. We're going to right click on it and click cut. Then we're going to go to transmitters. Then we're going to go to our XD9 or X9D uh, 2019 right here. And we're going to paste this in that folder just like we did the other update, which was this one right here. Okay. So this is going to paste, and then we're going to double click it. And we're going to extra, whoops, sorry, sorry. We're going to right click it, and we're going to left click on extract all and extract the files. Okay. Double click it's only to show you the contents, which right now I'm not worried about. So we're going to ex extract that. And then we're going to get ready to plug the radio in. Okay. It's going to take a minute. I guess while that's going on, I can clean up. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I had a long day today. Oof. All right, so I do like this. This is pretty cool, actually. All right. Let's put that down for a second. Let's see where we're at. Almost done extracting. And you're going to find out real quickly, I mean, with all these files in the language or in the um, different language options, once you get rid of that, you've got uh, definitely some room. You free up a lot of space. So uh, we're about 80% complete. We're getting there. I figure if you're following along with this, yours is taking just as long, so hang tight. All right, 100% complete, which means here's our folder now. And if you want to look at this, check this out. I'm going to go to Sounds, and I'm going to right-click on it, okay? And I'm going to go to Properties. Check out. It's 134 megs is uh, Sounds, okay? But check out the whole contents. The whole contents is 134, roughly, megs, okay? So once we go to Sounds, let's go ahead and just find all the sounds we don't need. I'm only going to use English, so I'm going to delete the rest of these, okay? I'm going to delete these two, all right? All right. So now if you check the entire SD card contents that we just did, and we say go to properties, look at that, the whole thing is 16 uh, megs, okay? So we got rid of all that unnecessary uh, stuff that we didn't need. Now on our card contents folder there, let's take all of these files, highlight them, right click them, click cut, go back to our card contents, and click paste. And here comes all the files that we needed. Now, we have that OpenTX firmware file. Just drag that and drop it into the firmware folder, okay? So that when you go into firmware, you can see that there's OpenTX firmware, okay? Now, going back to your uh, uh, downloads here, don't forget we had this other one as well. So we're going to um, uh, make a folder here, I guess. We can do this to keep it organized. I would have done this later, but I'll just do it now. Make a folder here called um, uh, FR, SK, uh, FR, whoops, SKY, uh, firmware, okay? And we'll, we'll go one step further. We'll say transmitter firmware because we are going to have receiver firmware folders. So TXFW, okay? So let's take this and drop it in there. And now we'll take this and put it in the card contents folder. And then when we go to the card contents folder, we can just drop that in firmware. Now, you, I'm, I'm, it's a long way to do it, but all you have to do basically is look and say, okay, I've got my folders here. And what you want to do is you want to keep them organized. So I'm just going to make another folder and I'm going to call it FRSKY RXFW, which is for receiver firmware. Keep them separate. Trust me, it'll make things easier down the road. Now, on your TX firmware, <clears throat> you have your file here, and then you can click on it again. I usually d eliminate the double folders, but right now that's not our focus, and it'll work just fine with it. So I, I try to keep things more simple, but for right now, it's not an issue. So now we have our card contents folder, right? So under transmitters, under X90 plus 2019, we have our card contents folder. Now we need to get this folder over to our memory stick, okay? And once we do this once, then we'll start doing the updating from the radio using a USB cable. But the initial one is just easier to do, passing it over straight to the memory stick itself. So I'm going to highlight all these. Oops, I thought it was. And I'm going to right click and click copy. 
Then I'm going to go to my memory stick, which is right here. I'm going to right click and click paste. Okay, now pay attention here because here's where things take a little bit of a change. And I think I've got to get a cable. I don't think I have the cable sitting here, so bear with me a second for that too. All right, now if we go to our memory stick, right, our E drive, there it is. We've got all our card contents and look, our folders, everything's here, it's ready to go, perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close that, close this, and I'm going to click OK, and I'm gonna eject, right click on the USB icon here, or left click, sorry, and just click eject. And that way I can pull this card out, which I'm gonna do right now. All right, now hang tight because I'm gonna go get the cable that I need to update this. I thought I had one up here, but I don't see it. So let me step out here real quick. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there that is. And I'm just going to use this extension cable. I'm going to plug it into that. And we're going to get our radio ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove my keyboard from this table and I'm going to start sharing all the screens here and just like all the cameras. So let me go ahead and do something like this. One, whoops, one, two, three. Okay, and let's do that. All right, so we've got our table here. We've got our radio here. Got our battery. Um, where did I put my memory stick? It was right here, and I don't know where I put it. Hold on. Nope. It. nope. All right, I'm on the hunt for my memory stick, which I thought I put right here, but now I cannot find it. So let me see what did I do with my memory stick. <clears throat> hmm. I will find it. I promise. Oh, I put it in the keyboard that I moved. My bad. Sorry, it's right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the memory stick in first. All right, let me see how they have this one going in just to make sure. I can't remember if it's upside down or right side up from here. So let me just check. I want to say it might be upside down, but I'm going to try it upside down and see. My fat fingers don't fit in here, so give me one second. Okay, no, it's right side. That's my bad. All right, so put the memory stick in right side up like normal to where you can see the label. Press it until it clicks. Now, don't drop your battery. Nope. So here's my battery I'm going to use for now. It is not the battery that's made for this. It was just one that I had that was kind of charged, I guess, I could use. So I'm just going to kind of just plug it in there and have it just, you know, flopping around, I guess. All right, now, with that in there, that's all great, but I need to plug in my USB cord to start sending some data back and forth. To do that, I'm going to take my radio and I'm going to press my side um, uh, sub trims in, right? So here it goes. I'm going to press those towards each other. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to press the power stick or press the and let go. Okay? So I kind of just, uh, let me go to exit here. Welcome to our TS. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to turn this off. We're going to do it again because it should be a quick press, but I, I was going to go back and hold it for a while. So hold these two subtrims in, press the power button, and there you go. Okay, now you're in OTX bootloader mode. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, I'm going to plug in my cable. Watch the computer screen here. Let me plug in this cable. Okay, and now it is uh, found. There we go. Okay, there's my connection. And now we'll watch the screen. Okay, so here's a screen for you to look at. Hopefully you get a good angle on that. My little battery's gonna drive me nuts. Let's see if I can make that look any better. Okay, so there's that. All right. There. Okay, with that done, now we're gonna go to our computer. Okay, so you can close your uh, folders right now. Just go straight to OpenTX Companion, okay? And what we want to do is we want to write the firmware that we downloaded and we put in our folder. We want to write that to the radio. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do to do that is we're going to find our file here and it's going to be write firmware to radio. So click, click that. And <clears throat> by default, I believe this check hardware compatibility is going to be um, uh, 
checked, okay, uh, checked, right? So if you go and you tell it you want to load the firmware, let me let me just go and find the firmware we did, which is the OpenTX, and we say, okay, right, you're probably gonna get this error, or there may be an error. Now, I've changed it, but there would have been an error. If you do get an error that says this software, and I'm gonna see if I can try to duplicate that somehow. Hold on one second. Um, the error looks something like this. I'm gonna change the radio profile real quick and don't do this, okay? Just I'm just doing this so I can, I can demonstrate to you what the error is. I'm gonna download, and I'm gonna say download firmware, and I'm just gonna tell it to put it uh, on my desktop for right now, I guess, right here, desktop. I'm gonna click save. As soon as it's done downloading, it's gonna prompt me to write. I'm gonna click yes, I wanna write it. Go ahead and write to TX. Now, you see this error message right here? New firmware is not compatible with the current one installed. Okay, so if you get this error message, but I've only done the, I've only tried to put on the wrong firmware on purpose so that you could see this message. This message will pop up though when you're trying to use the correct firmware being the X90 Plus 2019 firmware, okay? And I get it, but I had already done an update here while I was trying to fix my cameras, so I couldn't show you guys. So if you do get that error, <clears throat> let me go back to my radio profiles now and select this one here, okay? And if you do get that error, what you want to do is you want to go back to your icon, download your firmware like it says, okay? Pull it from where we've um, loaded it, which is going to be in our, um, uh, where is my stuff here? My recent thing, card contents, it's going to be under firmware. And that's in the OpenTX firmware, and there's that file, right? All right. Remove the check hardware compatibility if you get that error and you know you're loading the right firmware, okay? And then it'll pass right through, so don't worry about it. So here it goes. We're going to write the firmware real quickly. All right, and it's done. And then we want to do a, uh, a SD card content comparison, right? So this is a great tool here. It's this one right here, and you click it, and it's going to tell you, okay, the card contents that we picked, remember, we put those in the XD, if we go to transmitters, and we go to our uh, X9D plus 2019, then go to card contents, right? And uh, at that point, we're going to select that folder. That's our card contents folder, and then we know that it's saying that our drive D is our, is our hard disk or our, sorry, our memory card inside the transmitter, so that's fine. Now we're gonna click start. Here's what it's gonna do. It's gonna do a comparison of files and you're gonna see there's 683 total files. It's gonna go both directions, okay? And it's gonna see how many created, how many were updated, how many were skipped, and how many had errors. They should probably all be skipped at this point because I made sure when we copied them that they're identical, okay? But you wanna get used to doing this in case you do add an update, you want it to be on both sides. So we're gonna let this run and we're gonna see what happens. All right, this is done. All right, so now click exit, exit. Now what I want you to do is I want you to hold the menu button down, click page, I want you to go to firmware, I want you to go to the OpenTX firmware, and I want you to click on this OpenTX-2.3.2. That's the stuff that we created, right? I want you to hold it down, and I want you to say flash bootloader. It's gonna take a second. There you go, you're done. Now watch what happens. When I power this radio off, and I power it back on, we're now going to have a bootloader screen. I think it should come up. Switch oh, you know what? Here, let me show you. Sorry. it was. I can show you the, the longer way to get here, but watch. If you do that thing where you push the sub trims in sideways, and you, hit, and you let it go there, you see now it says a bootloader 2. Point, let me see if I can get that zoomed in. It says bootloader 2.3.2. So now we've got our bootloader and our firmware done. And we are ready to go, guys. Welcome so to OpenTX. This is, uh, this, is, this is the OpenTX setup. Uh, this is going to be with everything. Now, uh, before you go any further, I'm going to stop it here after I do this, but this is it. First of all, go to your menu and set up your stuff. So it is, uh, what is it, 2019. Sorry. Uh, let's go to it being November, almost Thanksgiving. And let's go to it being the 19th. Okay. Now, in Texas, it is 1028 in the evening. So let me go to 22. And I believe you can change that to where you don't have to be on 24 hour clock. But anyways, uh, that's fine. I think everything else here for, for the most part is going to be fine. Um, yep, everything else looks good. Okay, now, uh, <clears throat> the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go back to your main screen so that we're all at the same spot. Hold menu down. Press page, 
uh, and keep pressing page and press page again. Make sure you go to calibration. This is critical, so don't do anything until you've calibrated this. Okay, click it, and it says press enter to start, and then put all the sticks in the center. So just kind of eyeball it for center here, and that includes these guys. So make sure you put your sliders and your and your turn buttons here. Everything else, that's it, and then these ones here. Okay, get them centered. Centered. There you go. And now hit enter. Now move your sticks. So just do a plus left, right, up, down, and do not press hard when you do this. Left, right, up, down. That's it. Same thing. Left, right, up, down, and left, right, up, down. And then take your dials here, the ones on the side, go down, go all the way up, and go back to the center. And take your turn dials up here, and go all the way down, all the way up, and then back to the center. Okay? And then um, hit enter when done. Okay? So now you're done. Everything's been calibrated. You're, you're good to go. And now you can turn the radio off. And that's it, you're done. Uh, this battery does not fit. Now we'll go through more, okay, on setting this up. But for right now, this is what my customer needed to see. And so I'm gonna go ahead and address that with him. And then we'll be back to do some uh, cool things uh, soon. So let me just go there, bam, there we go. All right guys, listen, I appreciate you tuning in. This is basically a very intro step one to the uh, X9D plus 2019 edition. Uh, and setting it up with OpenTX and doing the firmware. Remember, if you're doing the firmware, please make sure you're using X90 plus 2019. I have made the mistake myself where when I set up my radio profile, I did not use the right radio, and then I either bricked my machine, uh, which we'll go through how to unbrick it, or I just couldn't get it to work. But once you do get to the X90 plus 2019 in your profile, and you set it up and you download the software, if you get that error that says it's not compatible, please just click the do not checklist and up update it. If you're 100% sure you've got the right file, it'll push through because what mine came shipped with was X90 plus firmware, not X90 plus 2019. So I had that error on here. Pushing it out of the way was no problem. And once I did that, all the other updates were great. Okay? If you have any questions, please email me at targetcyclonefbv.com. Also support me, please, by subscribing to my YouTube channel. There it is. And also following us on Facebook. Okay, guys? Look, thank you very much. God bless, guys. I wish you the best with your families this Thanksgiving. Um, spend time with them. You never know how much longer you got with them, okay? So spend time with them, safe flying. Be kind to everybody, guys. Remember, there's families out there that could use a, a meal or two. So, uh, help out if you can. I know they will appreciate it. That's what we're going to be doing this, uh, this coming week, okay? Until then, God bless, guys. See you later. Bye.